Hey there, this is Vanessa D. Berlay and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how to get more views on your small channel and understanding the algorithms. You don't have to understand everything in the beginning. In fact, some of you, your channel is still at a size where you, the algorithm and the analytics of, from YouTube haven't even kicked into your channel net yet because you don't have any data. But what I'm going to teach you today, you can utilize and then it's going to eventually help increase those views and those that algorithm is going to start kicking in for you. Now, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My channel is about taking your passion and turning it into profit. There's more than one way on this YouTube to make money. A lot of people think, oh, I just got to get a lot of people to watch my stuff and I'm going to make money from YouTube, which is a great way to make money. But there's other things you can do. So watch my channel every Tuesday and Friday and learn how you can turn your passion into profit. Now, one of the thing, one thing I want you to do before we get started, I want you to go to your YouTube channel and I want you to write down how many subscribers you have. And I want you to put that down in the chat right now, because a lot of times when you're new, you're almost embarrassed to say, I only have 15 subscribers, but you have to remember everybody starts from the same place. Even uh, Nick Nimmons, who I think he's pushing six or 700,000, he's on his way to a million subscribers had to start from zero. Everybody starts from the same place. So go ahead and let us know how many subscribers you have. And hopefully next time you watch, uh, each time you watch one of my videos, you can keep putting that down and then we'll know. Um, the other thing I want you to do is I want you to write down on a piece of paper, how many views that you're getting on your channel. Now, you can see li lifetime how many views you're getting per day or within the last 48 hours and you can put down how many you have as of today you can also track it by the month and the reason i'm asking you to do that because i want you to take what you're learning today and i want you to start utilizing it on your channel and 30 days from now see how much you've grown and then just keep tweaking what i'm teaching you and get better at it and you'll see that you're going to keep picking up momentum now one thing i do want to share i'll never forget I was going about a year, just over a year, and all of a sudden my views and my subscribers dropped a little bit, and I honestly was so discouraged. I thought, oh my gosh, maybe I'm not meant to do this. I better quit. And then from watching other YouTubers who have bigger channels, they told me that's normal. It just goes like this. So I just want to put that out there because I don't want that to happen to you where you drop a little bit and then you're like, you know, do I suck? <laughs> and so just, just know it goes up and down and it's your consistency and your persistence that's going to help you become that YouTuber that you want to be. So today, one of the things I want you to understand, I think that most of us don't think about when we're new, we're so worried about getting on the camera and just getting videos out and trying to figure out content. Um, if that's you, that's all part of it, right? But one of the things that I want you to understand is that you want to pay attention and, you know, at least in the back of your mind, why does YouTube even have this platform? Um, money talks, right? Most people do things because of money. Um, YouTube has their platform there, not just to be nice to you so you have a place to make money, but they want to make money. So you need to be cognizant of what their goals are. And their goals are to make money, usually with ads. So over here, you have a company paying for ads to put on people's YouTube videos, right? And that's you. That's what you want to eventually get to if you're not already monetized. And if they're placing their ads on your videos and your videos aren't getting watched, then YouTube's going to pull the ads or they're not going to rec they'll leave them there, but they're not going to recommend you. Does that make sense? So to get recommended, you want to think, how can I get people to watch my videos? Because that's a good thing in YouTube's business sense or, or their business plan. So that's why views are so important. And we're going to talk about that today, how to get more to help you and how to get more to make YouTube happy. Cause that's ultimately your goal. Now, the number one thing that I want you to focus on as a small channel is to try to get searched by YouTube. So when somebody comes or by um, potential viewers, when somebody comes to YouTube, they're always typing in questions and they're always looking for answers. So your goal is to get searched. You want to be the one that pops up. There are other ways to grow and there are better ways to grow. But when you're brand new, this is the best way because 
trying to get on people's home pages you know how when you open up your your screen and you go to your just type in youtube there are recommended videos that's where you ultimately want to go but unfortunately the only way you're going to get there is if you have an audience that keeps watching your your videos which mm, makes your views go up and see how that works then youtube's like wow lots of people are watching this person we're going to start recommending them on the home page that's your ultimate goal but it's not going to happen when you're a small channel it just isn't um, unless you just happen to get a video that um, people um, really pick up on but again let's just assume it's not going to happen so you want to be searched you want to be um that's the number one priority is when somebody asks a question you want to figure out how they're going to ask it and give the answer that's where we're, we're going to strive for today so i'm going to show you five different ways that you can be searched and i'm going to show you how you can look at the algorithms and the analytics from youtube so that you can see if you're being successful all right let's get started we're going to go dig in and figure this out now i started out by telling you that you want to be searched and placed um, when somebody searches for a topic that your youtube video is about you want to end up coming up on the first page of their search you know yourself you've searched for things and those first 10 videos or first 10 articles that you see on that page are usually the ones that you click so i made a video um, five tips for new youtubers and as you can see it showed up here on the first page it's not i didn't rank number one but i did rank on the first page and that's my goal as a small youtuber i want to rank on this first page so somebody will click my video and because they're not going to go to the second third fourth or fifth page it's just not going to happen um not not typically so there it is um the the way that we're going to work on today as a small channel now i do want to review the other what you're eventually searching for i made one video called cute suite versus buffer and it did rank on the first page it's number two now that's good um, the other thing though that you want to do is you want to search um, pop up as a suggested video and i know you hear that a lot you might think well what does that mean so i'm going to go down here to somebody else's video down here um okay it's hootsuite versus buffer versus later and see if i pop up in that right hand column and that's what we mean we, you your second goal or a future goal <laughs> is to pop up over here now notice i'm scrolling 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 over here on the right and i'm not seeing any of my videos but then all of a sudden a couple of my videos do pop up right here i have hootsuite um, review where i did a review on uh, hootsuite and it popped up so maybe somebody watched the video over here it was hootsuite versus buffer versus later and maybe they're like well i think i want to go with hootsuite so they look over here to the right i have a review and there's a chance that they might click that and get some more information so that's what a suggested video is and here again i have another um, video who's sweet versus buffer maybe that person's like well i'm still trying to decide between the two of them maybe i'll go ahead and click this one instead so that's what a suggested video is and the way if you notice i popped up several times about social media management what you want to do is make a cluster of videos on the same topic but talk about them in different ways and i actually did talk about a video I actually did create a video on how you can create seven different videos with the same topic and definitely watch that because it shows you how to promote the same topic same content but do it with seven different headings like you might want to compare two things you might want to do tutorial you might want to do a review every single title is different and you're talking about them in different ways but they're all going to come up in suggested videos and hopefully one of them will make it on that main page when somebody searches for it another thing this is the home page i talked about that ultimately we all want to be on the home page now some of these people are here because i watch them and some of them i've never watched before but youtube decided that these might be some things i'm interested in if there are things on here and you're like how the heck did that get on there i don't want to watch it um just hit the little um three dots there and you can say i'm not interested in this topic and then they'll stop sharing it and i like to do that because then it leaves more room for other topics that i would like to see all right so that's how you get viewed um, that's how the analytics work how do i know how my channel's doing how do i know how um most of my videos are being pushed by youtube if you go under your analytics on the left hand side and then go under reach 
traffic source types right here most of my videos are youtube search which is understandable because i am a small channel but i am building my suggested videos 25 almost 26 percent of my videos are searched because youtube suggests them and that's what i want to do i want this number to grow the 26 percent. i want it to be higher than that 54 percent eventually as a channel now i do have some videos that are higher in suggested video um, here's one video that shows um, how well it is being suggested by search 36 percent um, and not very many are suggested it's way down here i want to show you this one first um, even though this one's doing pretty well it's not being suggested but the search the topic that i have for this video is something that people are looking for now i'm going to show you another one that is doing much better with suggested videos like 53 percent so again each video is going to take off in a different way and you can look at your um, traffic sources to find out how each video is doing the more that once you get the analytics coming in and the algorithms working you want to take time each week and even if you just take a couple of videos i keep an excel sheet of all my videos the title and then i keep track of some of these things if i have one that absolutely isn't doing anything and it's been sitting there then sometimes i'll even delete it i mean if it's been sitting there a year or two and nothing's happening um and it's really old and maybe it's nothing you know that maybe anybody's looking for i could even take the topic and redo it because now you're you're better after two years right um redo the topic and get rid of that other one so and maybe it was the keywords who knows so that's what you can do to go in and even clean up after you have a lot of videos all right so now let's talk about how am i going to be searched how am i going to fall into that search area and i want to talk about five different things you want to pay attention to your keyword and do some research i'm going to show you very quickly how to do that I, because that's not what this video is about you want to look at your ctr your cl click-through rate your velocity your view dur duration and your engagement let's first look at keyword search let's say i'm looking up keto cooking that is a very hot topic and it would be very very hard to get into that niche as a small channel because that's huge for instance if i just look up key, keto cooking there's over 5 million searches i'm surprised there's not more let's niche it down a little bit and see what happens let's look for is keto right for you look i've got it down to 2 million so adding long tail keywords adding more words to that keyword your your keyword is keto and keto is huge but if you add other words around it it makes it um it makes it so less people are looking for it and you might think well why would i want to have something that less people are looking for think of yourself fishing at a pond are you going to go to the pond where there's like 2000 people sitting around the pond fishing and you don't have a chance in hell of catching anything or are you going to go to the little pond where maybe only three people are fishing you're still going to catch a fish but you're not going to have as much competition and that's the difference you want to think of yourself put yourself in the small pond right now because you're a small channel and you're going to get more of a chance of people finding you and here i've narrowed it down one more time i got it under a million but i think you get the idea how i lost weight with keto so here a person's telling their story and you can um, see that less people would be looking for that but you're going to have a better chance of being found and that's what you want to do you want to niche it down put more words and have a long um, tail keyword and that's what that means the next thing that we want to look at is the ctr which is the click through rate you want this rate to be anywhere from two to 10 percent if you hit that two percent you're doing good that's your minimum goal and of course you want to try to be as close to 10 percent as possible this one here is at three percent and this one here is at five percent so you want to look at your videos and see what your thumbnail looks like well like why is that one have a better click-through rate and it's typically because of the thumbnail that's what causes people to click your video so start looking at what are the thumbnails that have higher click-through rates and then i want to um, choose that style now you can see here where my markers going this is the the velocity of your video this is the next thing that you want to look at and i i don't want you to get discouraged um, if your video doesn't take off right away if you can see on this one it took probably about 60 days before it took off 
and then it just started increasing from there. So that is another key feature, um, something that you want to see. You want to see that people are, more and more people are viewing your video and that's one that they are liking. This particular video, my uh, originally the suggested videos was smaller and it was getting seen more by the YouTube search, but then eventually it picked up and the suggested videos picked up more. And you can see it here where I'll show it in this uh, traffic sources. So this one, 47% of the views are coming from suggested videos. So that's a good thing. That's what you want eventually. But according to that chart and to that, the velocity of that video, it probably wasn't getting suggested very much in the beginning. And that's why it took a while to take off. So don't get discouraged and think, you know, nobody's viewing this um, because the views will go up you'll have one that will sit there for a little bit and then it'll pick up later so those are um, two more things you want to look at your keywords your click-through rate your velocity now we want to look at the audience retention or your view duration and you're just going to go from the reach area over to the overview and when you come down and look at the overview you want to scroll down And then you'll see the audience retention. This one has a retention of four minutes. Now you might think, well, that's not very long. Well, the video itself was only seven minutes long. So as you can see there, the percent, 56% is very good. You want, if anything over 40% or more, that is an excellent view retention. Obviously the bigger that number is, the bigger the percentage is, the better. So definitely you're aiming to have that, um, audience retention to be 40% or more. And then you know that that's a good video um, that people are going to, that are watching. Um, later, you could go in and try to find out where, what's happening when they drop off. You can take your little cursor, go to four minutes and 14 seconds and go into your video and see what's happening at that point and find out why might people be dropping off. Maybe you started babbling. Maybe you started, um, you already got the meat of the video finished and there wasn't much more that you had to add. So just find out what that is. The last thing that you want to look at is engagement. The more engagement you have on your video, the more YouTube likes that. So if somebody makes a comment on your video, make sure you comment back because that kind of gives you like double um, the engagement, if that makes sense. And it, it helps you to engage with your audience and that's what you want to do. So five things, keyword research, click through rate, velocity, view duration, and engagement. Those are the five things as a new tube YouTuber that you want to work on so that you can be searched. By YouTube. If this was helpful to you, please put your comment below and let me know. If there's one area that you haven't been working on and it was helpful for you today, go ahead and put a comment below and let us know what that is. Or if you would like to see another a video um, digging in a little bit deeper on any of those topics, let me know that as well. All right, thank you for coming and I will see you on the next video.